All right, this is Chris of Jello Cop Productions here for the next episode of the Dream Machine. Last episode, we were able to get promoted to first assistant class or whatever the hell we got, and we earned the trust of the bus boy who was really close to Victor Eleven, who's missing. So we're really close to finding out where he is. Now I feel like I just showed this map thing to these drawings to the bus boy. <coughs> Oh, here it is. He can't make heads or tails of it. He hasn't looked at it. Right. Let's talk to the head servant. He might be not at all a killer. What can you tell me about this? Where'd you find this? Among his belongings? Have you seen it before? No, I didn't need it. But that explains it like what? So it's dangerous. I never had no bit of a cautious tale. And that's we pretty much already asked him all that. That's all. Open cabin too. Now I already made a point of this, but one thing is missing here. And it's the radio. Now, why do you think that is? We'll come back for that. Alright, now we should probably talk to the bartender to see how that Bloody Mary did. That's weird. What do you make of this nap? I have no idea. They were waiting with two See you later. Alright. There we go, PA. Did you hear that? That's it. She must have loved the drink. I'm finally promoted to cap. That's not fair, you didn't. So, you're taking credit for my work. I should have gotten that. Oh, please get over yourself. Envy is not dying. Who thought you? Were? Who mentored you to be able to make it? You gave me a book. You just had <laughs> in great best ever. That's how you talk to your sister. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. Yeah. Faster than me. Not even running at all! Oh well. Asshole. Okay. Now let's go up here. Let's give it. I'd like to. I know it was be. Who? It was. The new cadet, Victor Nye. What? There's a Victor Nye already? The bartender. That's a sick. I guess not. Great. Alright, I'm not gonna frame everyone, alright? There we go. Who are you? Cadet Victor Nye, at your service, sir. You're new on board? Sir, yes, sir. I need to get Can you let me through? By order of the captain, you're not permitted to enter this cabin at this point in time. Sir! But you did me a favor, right? My order to Captain? Well, shut up. What are you doing here? I'm guarding the door, sir. Why? What is going on here? I can't say, sir. I don't know, sir. Guard the door. Off a lot of noise. What was your previous time? I was just a luggage clerk, sir. I don't know. Don't don't know why I got this transfer, to be honest. I guess I must have been doing, done something right. When did you get here? Just a few minutes ago, sir. I went right up to the Captain's Day report for duty and got this time. Welcome aboard. It's very kind of you. Congrats, sir. That's the day you threatened me, sir. Was it? I won't forget it again. Better not. I'm sorry, sir. I'm so sorry, sir. Who's in cabin two? I don't know, sir. Two members from security. They had different badges from us, sir. I don't know how. I didn't know how to read them. See you later. Wait a minute, sir. Yes? Have you met the captain? What's she like? I've heard all kinds of stories. Is it true she only sleeps an hour a day? I have to go, cadet. Right. Sorry about you. Nah, uh, we're gonna be an asshole right now. We have to get him out the way to get into cabin two, because obviously something's up. Something's up, so we need to get into cabin two. So, we're gonna be an asshole and. Put yourself. Ouch! We're gonna be an asshole and. We're gonna cut the number out of our badge and insert it as number nine. It's pretty good. So now we look like Victor Nine. This one. So, 
Come on, what is it? You're... I want your job. Sorry, I'm going through. Tell, cap tell the captain she's got nice cans. <laughs> I want to escort her to my cabin, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Say, I'm going to. You do that. So now let's. So now let's cut out six again. Let's insert it as number six. We're right side up as number six. So now. <laughs> There we go. So now let's wait for the PA speakers to announce it. Victor 9, report for coal room duty. I repeat, Victor 9, report for coal room duty. Damn, you sound pissed. I want to be in his shoes right now. Oh, God. I feel so bad for Victor 9. But we had to get in the cabin, too. And it's only a dream. <coughs> Somebody really did a number on this cabin. I wonder what they're looking for. Examine bottle, examine small containers. So as you can see, there's nothing really we can get from this. Okay. The so smear is cabin too, but I feel like there's something different. Look, dumbass, it took me forever to come in here. So the radios, I wonder if that could be significant. Nah, okay, we know if the radio is missing. Now we're supposed to talk to, sorry, brain fart on my end. Talk to plus board. What do you want to know? Victor 11 hit it. He told me I should go looking for it. He told me. I don't know. I don't get it yet. What? Well, I don't know. Or can I find it? He said it was a safe and flat on the next site. Get back. That's all. See you later, Dad. I feel like such an idiot. Alright. Oh, I'm sorry. There's something going on with the recording. But you know what? Now we know we're supposed to find a radio in the sleeping compartment. <coughs> So let's do that. Sorry, it took me forever to remember. Sorry, that popped up. <coughs> Look under sink, and there's the radio. And this is, I'm pretty sure this is different. This is also one of those randomly generated things where it's different in each file. And that's, uh, let's see. Let's look at it. Turn it on. Right now it's 26.5. Let's look at this map. These are radio frequencies. So let's see. Looks like that's, this looks like a, triumph, like a hand-drawn map. And what I'm guessing is this is the bar right here, because that's got that thing right there. And there's a 27 near there, so... Let's tune that. Let's tune this thing to 27. Uh, raise frequency. And go down. Go to the bar. This is the life preserver. The radio seat, and it's a faint scene. Okay. Oh, I'd say the radio is coming from over here. Examine that pulley. A small radio transmitter, a piece of paper taped to it. It seems it's a note of some kind. Alright. So we found it. So that's what we're supposed to do. So let's see where else we can go. 27 right there. This looks sort of like um, the second balcony. So let's go there and put a 28 on. First, let's raise this thing to 28. Wait. Leave. Go to deck two landing. Go to the balcony. Examine that knob. Piece of paper. 
So let's see where that third one could be. First, we gotta go to 24. Now, I know about you guys, this looks like a room. But 24 is at a something like this. Okay, here's the second floor. Here's the bar. Here's a room for some reason. 24 seems to be right here. Now, this could be a third floor balcony. Let's go for it. I don't know how that could be the third deck balcony, but hey, it seems like it. Nope, I was wrong. Maybe it, it's on one of the rooms. We wouldn't put it in a cabin, too. The radio seems to be a fade sound. I'll examine them. It's not a radio thing. This must be the last one. So we can turn off the thing. Now, let's look at these three notes. This is some kind of map. This looks like a map of the place. This looks like it. it looks like we're doing like an X marks the spot thing. But we need to do a see through place. So let's look through this porthole and put these notes here. This seat, right they seem to be covered. Seems to uh, converge right outside cabin too. I wonder what's there. Open door. We're in cabin one, right? Yep. Let's examine the mermaid. This seems to be a small book hidden from the mermaid. Now let's see what's in this book. Personal files. Let's see what's in it. Next episode. Sorry guys. Seems to be going on for a while. And if I'm correct, there should be some video problems in this episode, but I'll be able to edit them out, don't worry. So, thanks for watching. Hope you like, comment, subscribe if you want more videos like this. And uh, it's been Chris of Jellicum Productions. Goodbye.